Yeah, I'm outside right now. Are you already in there? <sighs> Hold on, I can hardly hear you. It's obnoxiously loud. It's even super loud out here. Just give me a sec, I'll be in in a minute. <laughs> okay, bye. And hey, don't start drinks without me. <laughs> okay, I'll hold you to that. See you soon. Hey, I told you not to get drinks without me. <laughs> Slide over. Uh, I missed you, babe. Mm. You know what? I think I forgive you. That was actually pretty good. What drink is that? Oh, nice. I've been wanting to try that one. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your friend? The words died in my throat as my mouth went dry. Sitting across from me was none other than my ex flank. Oh my god, what do I do? I can't just blurt out to everyone that she's my ex. This is embarrassing enough as it is. Okay, don't freak. I'll just play it by ear. If she doesn't say anything, then neither will I. I'll talk about it with my girl when I get home. I just really don't want this to ruin things. We're just getting on good terms after the argument we had last week. Ugh, I already know tonight's gonna be heated. I just hope nobody notices. All I have to do is play nice for a few hours, then I'll be home free. Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I just wasn't expecting to see you here. Yeah, we know each other. Um, we met in college. We were good friends for a while. I guess we just kind of drifted apart over the years. <laughs> yeah, so how have you been? I know you were going up for a master's in psychology last I heard. At least that wasn't a complete lie, but okay. Okay, this is cool. No issue so far. I'm hoping that if I keep initiating the topic that we'll hopefully never get around to the topic of our failed relationship. And before we know it, the night will be over. Ah, oh, but how am I supposed to focus without her looking at me like that? I still get butterflies every time. We must be thinking the same thing. Oh, this is so hard. It's not exactly like we ended on bad terms either. We mutually agreed to split because of the distance. I was moving to a different state to get my masters and she was going to Italy to study abroad. If we really wanted to, we could have made it work, but neither of us wanted to jeopardize our grades. <laughs> we used to be so in love. I cried for months after that. I nearly failed my midterms anyway. But, then a few months later, I heard she had moved on, so I figured that I should too. That feeling of betrayal I had felt so long ago started to flood back. My stomach twisted in knots. I used to hate her for that. Splitting was something that she suggested first. So, <laughs> was it ever even real? Maybe she just wanted an excuse to get rid of me. I'm just now realizing that I never actually took the time to process and deal with this breakup. I mean, when we split, it was with the intention of getting back together eventually, but we didn't, even after graduation. After a while, I just started to ignore how I felt. I ignored the pain until I felt better. Those feelings are coming back tenfold, and I don't think I'm going to be able to keep this up all night. I'm already choking on a lump in my throat. I thought I was over this. I'm with an angel right now. She doesn't deserve this. I... I just can't sit here and act like everything's okay because it's not. This is so fucked up. Yeah, uh... Excuse me, I'm gonna go get another drink. Maybe hit the dance floor on my way back? Oh no, it, it's okay. Sit, enjoy yourself. I'll be back.
Mm. I'm in desperate need of a drink. Maybe if I drink enough, I can forget about all of this. I sat myself at the furthest end of the bar, completely out of view and earshot from the booth I just came from. Hey, guy. <laughs> yeah. I'll take the fruity drink you got back there. Yeah, and keep him coming. Yeah, thanks. Sorry I called you guy. You're not exactly wearing a badge. Thanks for the drink though. Ooh, that is good. Just what the doctor ordered. Thanks, man. Oh no, is she coming over? Oh, I'd love to get away from her. If she keeps this up, I might have to cut this night short altogether. She sat next to me but didn't speak. That's good. Uh, I was planning on ignoring her for the rest of the night anyway. I managed to get through a few drinks and get a light buzz before she started talking to me. I don't really know if I just couldn't hear her at first or if I thought she was talking to someone else. The bartender maybe. But you talking to me? Hmm. What do you want then? Yeah. Sorry, it's the alcohol. I wasn't really trying to be rude. I somehow managed to suppress the urge to roll my eyes, refusing to look at her at all. Look, what are you doing here? Did you know you were going to see me tonight? Yeah, well, I'm not exactly inclined to believe you, but I can't really bring myself to care right now. <laughs> As if you really care how much I drink. Yeah, well, I don't need anyone looking out for me, especially not you. I'm just trying to have a good time. And and you want to know something? In the time that we've been apart, I learned that I don't need you for that. I don't need you to feel good, to, to feel important, to feel loved, or to even be happy. I'm good. <laughs> I'm the fucking best I've ever been, and... I'm happy, really. I am. And... And... They can come through. No. I don't want your help. Just... Leave me alone. Her lips forced me to submit in that moment. The tears I had been holding back all night stung my eyes. I did love her. I never stopped. I need her. I, I, I want her in my life, but she left. She practically abandoned me in a whole new country. I was trying to be supportive, but I was dying inside. The way she kissed me, it felt like like the first time. Like we were back in her beach house. Legs tangled in a duvet. Eyes glued to the floor to ceiling windows. Sometimes just spending hours watching the ocean. Her hands gently stroked my back. The tips of her fingers sometimes slowing to trace my tattoo there. The first time she told me she loved me. I just, I'm sorry. I just, I can't. <laughs> 